Good morning, thank you. Can everybody hear me? Just in, okay, great. <laughs> I'm Cassandra Stokes. I am the Democracy and Economy Coordinator for NC Black Alliance. And this morning, we're here because of a couple of things. Um, one, we've asked for transparency in this redistricting process. We've asked for inclusivity in this redistricting process. We've asked for public participation and community engagement in this redistricting process. And we've also asked for the racial data that was used in this process to ensure that black community interests are fairly represented in North Carolina. But what did we get? We received black legislators <laughs> drawn in the same district. We've received black communities that are compacted. We've received black metropolitan areas in the same district as areas on the East Coast. We've received over the years HBCU and college student populations divided. We've received district lines manipulated to weaken the political power of black communities and undermining the political power of minority communities in North Carolina. These are just a few practices in a voter suppression tactics that we have that have generational impact beyond the reversal of state sanctioned discrimination because that's exactly what it is. So one can see how this gerrymandering not only works to destroy the black vote, but also ruptures black alliance and black power building between communities all for the sake of political gain. So even though we, we understand that parties have utilized gerrymandering for their own benefit, partisan use of these 2023 proposed maps, they yield, they lean as disseminating impact on black communities who have historically already had their rights and access to vote challenged or outright denied. So as a historically marginalized community, black voters are deeply limited in moving our transform transformative political change in North Carolina when the collective power of their votes are diluted. This is, this is not to imply that the black vote is homogeneous, but yet due to the impacts of past racial practices regarding housing, schooling, criminal justice, and economics, many blacks hope to find similarity, they hope to find strength, and most importantly, they hope to find hope in their votes to address and overturn such eliminated racial harms. So my question and my charge to lawmakers is no longer how, because we know how you do it, mm -hmm. is more so when. When will it end? When will this game of power and this game of control stop? When will this game of political gamesmanship stop to ensure that access to resources and access to fair representation stands? So, we, so when will you hold yourselves accountable? Because if you don't, we will in 2024 and future election cycles. Thank That's you. Right.